and welcome to uh, Dirtbag Baseball Nation, uh, everybody. Uh, Kirk McNabb, and uh, it's great to be back here. And uh, we're super excited today to uh, be starting this next uh, series with uh, our good uh, friends from uh, Diamond Kinetics and uh, put a lot of thought and process into this uh this series as well as we do with everything because at the end of the day as you know it's all about educating you to the best of our ability on on training advice on products out there on training aids out there um so ultimately you're empowered moving forward whether you're a player or the parent of a player uh coaches out there with amateur uh, sports and stuff like that in this case baseball and softball uh, we're lucky enough to have that combination through Diamond Kinetics and, and the wizardry behind uh, what they've created with the uh, pitch tracker and swing tracker, their devices. So, you know, again, like I said, we're excited to bring it to you. So on that note, uh, you know, we, uh, you know, what I'm talking about is we've been lucky enough, Braden and Nolan and myself, uh, through connecting with J.D. Vidal, one of the Southeast uh, business managers for Diamond Kinetics this past year and stuff like that, uh, to be able to have, you know, the devices and there it is, you know, it's as simple as that. There's a, there's an example of the baseball pitch tracker. There's the softball pitch tracker that we're talking about from DK. All right. They come in these pretty little boxes and, 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 and it really is, it's, it's incredible what they do. Well, same thing for the uh, softball as well. And then of course the swing tracker, just it's, it's mind boggling to me. So I'll show you quick or whatever. And now your box comes, it's nice. It's there. It's pretty. You open it up all the information, but that little sensor right there is what we're talking about. And that's what we're going to be going into over the next few episodes. As far as the swing tracker part of it goes, you open it up and they've laid it out really pretty with all the information all inside and out to be able to do it. Then from there, you go ahead and you put that little sensor that I just showed you in this knob placement for the bat. And there it is. You can see it. I'm close enough. There it is inside it. Now you go from there, <laughs> you put it on the knob of the bat and it is tough. I will give you that. I'll give you the heads up right now. They have designed it. That's a good hard rubber. That's it's, it's malleable, but it's, it's, it's tough. It's on there. There's no fooling around. And there it is right inside. That's, that's Braden's bat, as you can see, or whatever or not. There it is, Braden. All right. So there you go. We've been uh, using them and, and working with them for the last four or five months, and it's, it's just blowing our way. So we were super pumped about doing this series and super honored um, to be able to have the DK team. And on that note, I'm not going to waste any more of my time. Let's get down to the nuts and bolts and the hammers of what Diamond Kinetics is and who they are, as we like to do. It's more than just the products. The products are the exciting thing. But let's start to find out how this all came to be. So on that note, CJ Handron from Pittsburgh uh, headquarters and stuff like that of Diamond Kinetics, the CEO and co-founder of Diamond Kinetics. Great to have you with us, buddy. I can't thank you enough for, for joining us and sharing your knowledge and sharing your team with us. Yeah, thanks, Kirk. And I'm, you know, I'm thrilled to be here and, and you know, so excited that you guys are interested in, you know, really understanding a little bit more of the, the behind the scenes, if you will, and, and a little bit more of kind of what makes our company tick. So I'm, I'm thrilled to be here with you. Yeah, and that's a, that's a great segue, my man. Like, let's go ahead, as we always like to do with our series and that it's, it's, I think the story behind these companies, in, in this case, D Diamond Kinetics, is as valuable as the product. So all of the audience really gets to know, where does a concept like this come to be? Like, it must be a fun world that you live in, but yet the daunting times of making it come to fruition. Yeah, you know, and, and um, I guess maybe I'll, I'll give you a minute or two on kind of how this all came out of the ground, because uh, I think it's a pretty neat story. And, and um, you know, I can't take credit for that. So this actually really starts with a, a curious engineering professor at the University of Pittsburgh, who also doubled as a, as a coach for all of his kids as they were growing up, but baseball and softball. Um, and he just really wanted to understand in, in a more consistent way what was happening with these crazy motions, right? They're hard, they're fast, um, the eyes can trick you from time to time. Uh, and so he really started tinkering with how do I measure a swing and how do how would I measure a throw? And, and so I crossed paths with him when I also was at the University of Pittsburgh. And I, I basically worked with entrepreneurs and students and faculty to get new ideas off the ground, get them out of the university. And he literally walked in my office one day uh, with a baseball bat over his shoulder, a laptop under his arm, this big crazy sensor that was about that big <laughs> to start with that he had bolted to the middle of the bat. 
Uh, and listen, I'm, I'm a through and through baseball guy. You know, I, 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 I've been, you know, it is, it's the only sport I really played growing up. I love it. I owe, you know, most of my long-term friendships and teamwork and leadership skills and everything to the game. And so I immediately perked up and said, wow, this is pretty amazing when he showed me this, you know, this demo of being able to kind of track a bat through space in this engineering software. And so, you know, we kind of came together and said, you know, we, we're both passionate, deeply passionate about baseball and softball. We think this has this opportunity to have this really positive impact on the game where for the first time sensors are getting to a place that they were widely available. And it was something that you actually could envision everybody being able to use. You didn't have to be in a lab and you didn't have to have, you know, thousands and thousands of dollars to do it. And that's what got us so excited about this was we actually felt like, you know what, this is something that we, we could, we could work to bring to everybody. And, you know, our goal here really is at the end of the day, when you strip it all away, um, we, we want to have a positive impact on the games. They're hard games to learn. Sometimes they're monotonous and, and, and not fun games to practice, you know, but, but you've got to do that to, to build the skills required in baseball and softball. And we felt like technology had an opportunity to do that, to, to help you understand who you are and your swing or your pitch, uh, and then marry that together with some things that once we know that information, we can give you tools, analysis, you know, content that helps you do something with that to make changes and get better. So, you know, that's, that's kind of how we came out of the ground was a deep passion for the games, a really smart and curious engineering professor who wanted to solve the problem, if you will. And then, um, you know, an, an enthusiasm to try to do something exciting and important in baseball. Yeah. And there's no question you hit the nail on the head. Um, like you were saying, it's, it's, that's what I guess blew us away when we first started uh, with the swing tracker, we started there and then went over to the pitch tracker. And, and it was like, when you married, like you said, the, the connection of being able to do it with the phone. And at this point in time, it's just Apple products or whatever, iOS and that, but 2021, I know we'll talk about that. I know the integration of Android is coming, but so we were able to do that. And, and, it blows my mind. Like it really does to be able to sit there and go, Oh my God, there's swings. And all of a sudden it's up to the cloud, literally to the cloud and then back down on your phone. And you've got this 3d animation coming on your phone of your swing. But I'll tell you right then and there, CJ, it hit us like a ton of bricks. And we said, my goodness, this is a game changer in the fact of player development. The first thing that hit me in the head was, you know, T work. T work can be one of the worst things in the world or whatever in that because the goal of T work never really gets explained, right? So it makes sense if we're an adult, you and I would get bored of swinging off a T. Only imagine what a kid is, right? It's craziness. But I was like, that's a game changer. I was like, oh my God, Braden, you used it and there's your swing. And you could see that from start to contact, he was excellent. And the information provided by you guys gave him that. But then after contact, his extension and follow through was short. And he knew that all the time. But now he can visually see it. And I go, oh, my goodness, that's what I'm talking about. Whether it's T-Work, Soft Toss, Live, you can take your eight reps or however many reps you want to take. And they'll be able to look at it and go, oh, my goodness, I get it. Now I know what coach is. Now I understand what coach means. I've, I'm either long to the ball or short through contact, whatever it is, what you guys have provided them is, is validation to that. So my point, I guess, is the player development is unbelievable. So that's where you are now, but how did you get that? How do you sit there as a group and go, how do we get baseball minds to sit with technology engineering minds and build this out? Yeah. You know, it's been, uh, listen, I, every time I see it, I'm still kind of like, wow, I can't believe that, you know, cause I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a tech technology engineering guy. Right? So I'm still blows my mind every time I see, you know, what our team is able to kind of, kind of put together. And I think that, you know, what we've experienced from a development perspective of it, before we get into kind of, you know, how those things start to meld together kind of for customers in the market is, um, Some of our engineering team are deeply passionate about baseball or softball. I mean, we have two former collegiate pitchers on our engineering on our engineering team. Some of them are, are and most have 
some passion for sports in general. But that's not a hard requirement um, because what they all have is this passion and like motivation at like deeply uh, challenging engineering problems <laughs> and, and things that you want to solve that are hard to do. And, and what we do is hard, you know, getting a tiny little, you know, all the components you require that's inside that ball or inside that sensor, you know, getting 45 little tiny components onto a tiny little board and figuring out how to make it charge and how to make it transmit information and how to make sure it's accurate and how to make sure that it works when thousands and thousands of people are using it at the same time. Um, from an engineering perspective, like that's motivating and exciting and challenging. And then I think that the flip, the second piece of that is that they get to see their work impact and influence people on a daily basis, right? Like they watch people use the product. When you see, you know, some of the NCA programs that we work with, when they get to interact with major league teams that, that work with us, when they get an opportunity to actually see people using their product, there's a, there's a satisfaction and passion to that. And so it's been really exciting for me to see they're, they're all the smartest people I've ever met, right? And, and, and you put them all together and then we work really hard to make sure we understand, hey, what, what is the best, what are we trying to provide? What are the outputs that, that you know, a, uh, a kid, a parent, and a coach need from us to make this a useful and valuable tool? Uh, and you bring baseball discussions together with technical discussions. And so most of our product discussions, most of everything that we do have both those voices represented at all times. You know, if we just did engineering and we did it in kind of a, in a bubble and never, you know, listened or talked to anybody who was playing or using the product, we'd have a real problem. If we only did it and never, you know, we only talked to players and coaches and we never had anybody from an engineering side who was listening to that and understood what was possible, we would create ideas for things, but not necessarily things that could be built or could be built, built to be used well and easily. So it is a, it's a delicate marriage of your, your engineering uh, talent and people and the skills that they have, uh, merging that together with you know, listening and understanding baseball and softball and what our, our customers and parents and players and coaches need. Yeah, yeah, and, and well, you're right. It just, it has to be that marriage. That's a great way of putting it and stuff like that. Uh, you know, like-minded people, I guess, with a little bit of disagreements and stuff like that. But, but if the final outcome is always the goal, then that's, Hey, you're well on your way. And, and obviously with the way the industries are now, both baseball and softball, where they are in the tech evolution. And then, you know, like to me, we're still pretty in the infancy, really, it, it is un unbelievable. And you guys would know that much more again, because of the ideas that spring through your head and where you can take it all. But, you know, I guess for the listeners, if you don't mind, where would, where do you really believe DK fits in that? And, and the importance of, let's say, you know, the amateur player trying to get to the collegiate level. We're not at the high, high school level yet or whatever, and having the knowledge of getting out there. But let's say to the collegiate and the professional level, how does that connection work for them if they want to get a, a pitch tracker or the swing tracker or the combination, the bundle? Yeah, I mean, you know, I think for us, like, that's the audience that we're most focused on. We want to create experiences and products that... Um, support development so that whatever you define as the next level right and i think we we talk about this a good bit here right it's not just like you said it's not necessarily locking in and saying it's to you know go from here to playing on your high school team or it's definitely from going from here to playing on a, it's understanding that everybody has a uh, a goal or a next level right all the way down to my seven-year-old who's just you know really learning to play the game at this point like there there are goals you have whether it's you know how you you know start to perform on a field or the next team that you're trying to make or you know, whatever that might be and I think our goal with our technology is to be able to support and fit in there for whatever your goals are uh, because we do know that for most that play the game you just inherently want to work to try to get better at it. And it's a hard game. So we all know it's all built on failure. And so there's lots and lots of room to get better. And our goal in there is that, you know, when you think about technology in general and this kind of evolution or revolution, right? I would agree with you, right? I think it's in its beginnings in general. Sometimes we use baseball analogies, you know, and things that we do, right? And so, you know, we, we might be, you know, we, we might be at the end of the third inning now in, in, in a nine inning game in terms of, you know, looking back five or six years and there being almost no technology around baseball. And now there's a lot of it, right? There's a lot of information being captured. Um, 
And we're moving into stage now where I think people are really understanding what to do with that, how to refine it. Uh, how do you take data and make it be something actionable? Um, and our job in our apps and our products is to do as much of that for a player and a coaching parent as we can. Um, it's not to be a coach in a sensor. It's not to put that thing on the end of the bat and like, you know, we don't need coaches anymore, right? Like that's, that's, it's definitely not what this is. It's to be a catalyst and a tool and to expedite a little bit. And so, you know, if we can help you find a deficiency area where, you know, the app can help you see or understand that you cast your hands, right? And that's a consistent issue in your swing. We can work to find that more quickly and help you, you know, with some guidance, some feedback, even some instructional content from you know, partners like USA Baseball to, to try to get at that more quickly to get you better a little faster, right? And, and, and that's really our goal is that we can fit in and weave in and, and because it is mobile-based and because we, feel like we have a very accessible and, and kind of affordable technology, we do feel like we're an important part of the, the overall sort of ecosystem here, if you will, because it can go, you know, my seven-year-old can use the same exact product that all our MLB customers and NCA customers use. And, and that's just unique and different, right? It is something that is, it's at, that there's access at every single level. And, and we think that's really exciting. Without question, without question, and like he says, dirtbags, uh, it, it's the truth. Um, if you if you haven't experienced a DK product yet, um, I'm telling you, it's it's really seamless. It's it's strategic, but in an all encompassing way, just like CJ said, and that's what really is truly cool from us to you, whether that matters or not, but, but it really truly is. And especially when we focus so heavily on the amateur market and believe in the, in the future of it and paying, paying it forward, really paying our, our baseball experiences forward and stuff like that. So before we wrap up, I want, I want one last thing in that. Um, I know with the swing tracker, you were further ahead as far as, like you said, the 3d animation and the heat sensors, your hot zones and stuff like that. But this past fall, for example, you really dove into the sensors of the pitching and, and catching up on that side of it and stuff like that. So, um, without giving away the state secrets or whatever and stuff like that, or, or getting, uh, <laughs> backlash from the rest of the team or whatever, what, what kind of innovating things that you might be able to share with the audience or that are exciting to you personally moving forward? Yeah, for sure. And I'm happy to give you a kind of a glimpse into some of the things you'll start to see, you know, as, as we turn the calendar on a new year here. Um, you're right. So we, we put, um, you know, we put some effort uh, into uh, expanding the experience in Pitch Tracker. Um, we, we, we were, we have focused on hitting for longer, right? And so we, we uh, rolled out a Pitch Tracker 3.0 um, that's got, you know, new, uh, new metrics, uh, new video capture tools, and just as an overall kind of better experience around using those smart balls. But it's also a springboard into things that we're preparing for next year. And so you're going to begin to see um, instructional programs and content on the pitching side, similar to how we have them in base in, in hitting. You're going to see those programs on both hitting and pitching expand. So in-app tools that, you know, are kind of at your fingertips when you do want uh, a drill to work on, or you want to work on a particular concept or program, we're going to try to provide more and more of that. Um, we are focused on some really exciting things around how we watch and track how the body can move. Um, so one of the partnerships that we, we started to talk about um, this fall uh, is around our ability to, to, with your mobile phone, track how your body moves. And so we are, we're keenly interested on like bringing those pieces together. So as both a pitcher or a hitter, it's one thing to be able to see that bat path in 3D or know what your spin rate or, you know, spin efficiency is coming out of ball. But if we can also tell you how your body's moving um, and kind of marry those things together, we think it's really exciting. So you're gonna to begin to see that from us uh, as we get into 2021. And then we're always looking for opportunities and places where, you know, frankly, if, if you know, customers and users in the market is telling us, boy, it would be great if these, you know, pieces would work together, then we explore those. And, and one, we, we actually just recently announced, you know, with our friends and partners at Win Reality, where we are, we're integrating our hitting sensor initially into a virtual reality 
um, you know, hitting system and program with win. And so, you know, this leverages and uses the Oculus headsets that are becoming more popular. And you can see live, see pitching in, in, in VR and in virtual reality, take real swings with a DK sensor in real time and kind of marry all that together. So we're going to keep looking for innovative opportunities to provide, you know, more opportunities and, you know, ways you can use our technology all the way around a baseball, you know, kind of experience, right? Whether that's player development or whether some of those things are just fun. Um, and then you're gonna see us kind of really push into really further understanding and pulling the pieces together on like how everything fits together instead of just how the equipment. So we're really excited about what the, the next 12 months or so holds from an innovation perspective. I can only imagine, man. Good for you and, and the rest of the team for sure. So there you go, uh, Dirtbags. That was just a little bit of a start and, and the right place to start. There's no question about it right at the top with CJ and, you know, get you sort of the background, a little bit of the story behind the scenes that we're not lucky enough to always be able to uh, to get. And, and CJ wanted to get that story out as much as we wanted to bring it out. And that was what was really exciting about it. So moving forward into the next episode is basically almost, I guess, uh, CJ's right hand man, not that not that any of the other guys aren't Ed, but uh jeff schultz and he's the chief commercial officer and we're going to be diving into you know the strategic partnerships and and relationships that uh you know right from the start to where they are and, and where the future leads and how they think about the growth of it to tie into what cj was saying there because at the end of the day it's it they have a product that's relative off from the pros all the way to the amateurs the beginners, it doesn't matter when you start this game or when you finish this game, you know, the pitch tracker and the swing tracker from DK is, it is, it's an all encompassing or they are all encompassing products and stuff like that. So we're excited about having Jeff on. And then after him, we're going to have on, uh, we're going to really dive into the pitch tracker itself with Kyle Bennett, their West coast uh, business manager. And then um, the swing tracker with uh, chase from uh, the New Jersey area and stuff like that. And uh, so we're going to get there. Uh, but again, we want to really lay the groundwork so you really understand. It was important to us all that you really had a good, true understanding of what DK was as a family, as a team, as a partner with you, even though they may never get to see you or whatever. And that they truly are in this journey with us. And that's that's the exciting part of it. And so, you know, CJ, I can't thank you enough for coming on. Um, I can't thank you enough for sharing your team with us and, and the knowledge that's going to come out of this series with you. And I, I appreciate it, buddy. And I hope it's just the start of our journey and our relationship and stuff like that. As uh, DK grows, we'd love to grow along with you. Yeah, absolutely. And again, like, thanks so much for having me and, and for, you know, kind of you know, putting some time towards our story. We, we care a lot. You know, all we do is baseball and softball. Uh, it's the only sports that we, we put any time or attention to. Um, trying to do it the right way and um and we really appreciate you know the the opportunity to tell a bit of our story so um you know looking forward to you having the opportunity to talk to some of the other folks on our team and and certainly where we all go from here can't wait man we're excited about it so hot dirt bags um you know what time of the week it is man it's time to get out there get up get after it and get dirty we'll be right back here